12th generation has been a huge performance winner. But we want to continue that momentum with our next generation product, Raptor Lake, right? So it's been performing so well today, we want to give you a sneak peek. The first publicly, by the way. Yep, very first one. Now, you can see I have the Raptor Lake system here. It's a desktop system. This system features eight performance cores and 16 efficient cores for a total of 32 threads. And you can see that here on the performance monitor right here. That's all 32 threads. And I've loaded this system up with many of the applications content creators use today. So one of those applications is Blender. So let's give those cores something to work on. So I'm going to go in here. I'm going to use Blender to- Notice all the boxes are white showing yep. no, no demand on the cores. Yep, we're right now, we're, they're pretty much idle. So let's kick this off. This is a very CPU intensive task. And you'll see all 32 threads, they're going to ramp up to 100%. Which is that. reflected in the blue. That shows the utilization of the CPU. Yep, so they're all ramping up to 100%, and that's fantastic. That means we're going to finish this task faster than ever before. But what if you want to work on something else at the same time? Well, that's where the magic of Thread Director comes in. Let me show you. I'm going to take this rendering, and I'm going to just simply push it to the background. Now, you'll notice the bottom 16 threads, those are the 16 efficient cores, they're going to stay maxed at 100%. They're working on that render in the background. And all you did to move the, move the workload there is hit minimize. I hit minimize. Okay. One simple click. Now, you'll notice those top 16 threads, those performance cores, they're ramping down to zero. They are now available for me to focus on whatever I want to focus on, and they're there to deliver the performance I need. So we're going to go into After Effects, also very CPU intensive. And I've got a little video clip here. So let's go into that. Now, you see, I've got this clip, and it's the clip I want, but there's a yellow car in the background. That car has to go. So let's minimize this. We're going to go into After Effects. We're going to do a content aware fill. Now, I've identified that yellow car. It's going to go through every frame, see where the car is, determine what the background would be if the car wasn't there, and then get rid of it, essentially erasing it from the video. That's very CPU intensive. But if you look on those top 16 threads, those performance cores, I still have a lot of headroom left over. I have been going Word, Excel, PowerPoint, <coughs> reading my email, whatever I need to do. But the bottom 16 cores continue to focus on that rendering in the background. Now, you can see, I look, I think we're almost done here. So let's go into here. Yep, the yellow car's completely gone. So again, that's the beauty of our, our, our brand new hybrid architecture and thread director. We take your tasks, we divide them to the right core so you can do whatever you're working on faster and more efficient than ever before.